you people in the internet land. <laughs> Hey guys, welcome back. Today I am showcasing the uh, hobby shops that I actually went to when I uh, took my trip to Sydney. Um, and um, these are these are way different from the ones that I uh, went to in Melbourne. So um, the review or the things I'm going to talk about will sort of will definitely be different. Um, um, the stuff that they, uh, the places that I went to, they didn't really have much of the pop culture stuff, but mostly the hobby stuff of the uh of the hobby actually so um yeah without further ado um let's get into it the uh, first one we're looking at is king's comics in uh, 403 george street um of course it's a comic book shop they do have some um funko pop figures um other uh toys but not really a huge variety most of the toys that they sell are the expensive ones like the hot toys or the uh you know more expensive figurines even their statues were for sale but of course it's uh, you know it's, it's it's gonna cost you a lot of money if you are uh, into comics this will actually be a good place to uh, visit This is Games Workshop in uh, 91 Bronte Road. Um, a little bit further from um, Good Games um, that I was talking about earlier. And um, this uh, th th this place is really amazing. Uh, the, the staff was really nice. Um, again, they had everything Games Workshop had to sell. Um, they got the paints. This was actually where I got the uh, uh, H. Sigmar um, Tempest of Souls box. Um, with the paint and tools, um, I think I got it for $155 Australian, which is a little bit pricey, but um, you know, um, it's it's Games Workshop, so what do you expect? Um, they actually have a lot, not as, not as, uh, not 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 really a lot of um, terrain or like um, tables for you to play with um, compared to the Warhammer store. But um, I think the, the nice thing about this game's workshop is because it's closer to the suburb, I guess. Uh, some of, well, not really the suburb, but some people, some people prefer to live outside the city. So if ever you are in the central business district, you can go to the Warhammer store. If you're in the Bundai area, which, um, you know, people always associate it with, like, people going to the beach, surfing, um, you know, it's, it's really surprising to find a games workshop and uh, for a geek like me if I were living in um, for, for if I was living in the Bundai area and not really wanting to go to the beach but just want to you know paint and then just play games um, this would be like the best place for me to go um, if I am going to if I am playing Warhammer um, if that's the case but yeah um, this th this place is really nice um, kind of far if you are in the central area, but it was pretty close to me because I was in the, I was living in the Bandai Junction area. So, yeah, if if you are within the Bandai area, I uh, do recommend you check out the uh, Games Workshop store in Bronte Road. We're looking at Good Games in Bandai Junction. Um, it's in 446A Oxford Street. It's actually between a Red Cross shop and like some other shop. It's a small door. It's a black Good Game sign, and you actually just have to go upstairs. And when you get there, it's a it's this very um, long store. Half of the store is for, um, reserved for like people who want to play card games or people who want to play um, their war games. Um, the other half actually showcase their the things that they're actually selling. So mostly um, Warhammer stuff, um, 
Dungeons and Dragons Pathfinder. Uh, they do have some Pokemon and Yu-Gi-Oh. Um, they do have tournaments every now and then. Um, what I did notice though is that they didn't have all the Zillow paints. So if you are looking for Citadel paints uh, for your miniatures, you might um, want to look to um, Games Workshop, which is you know just down the road, um, because sometimes they wouldn't have everything in stock there. Uh, this next one we're gonna look at is Good Games in Town Hall. This is within the city. It's 222 Clarence Street. It's just beside the Warhammer store, but we're gonna get to that later. Um, this store is a little bit wider. Um, still has that place for people that play their card games. I think I think the one thing I like about Good Games is the fact that they actually try to cater to different sides of the culture, like um, pop culture, um, well, it's card games, um, the hobby part. Um, especially uh, people uh, people want to paint uh, miniatures and all that uh, war gaming um, yeah it's 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 a really nice tour if you're looking to expand your horizons in terms of like getting inspiration on what type of hobby you want to get into because it's really a good mix of stuff that they sell and the people that actually come in there but then again like I said they don't really have everything that you want at, at times but um, you know it's again it's a really nice place to gather inspiration on what type of hobby you really want to get into This next one we're looking at is Warhammer. It's in 222 Clarence Street. Um, yes, uh, it is on the basement of Good Games. So, um, yeah, it's. I, I think having a store within the basement actually adds a little bit of character to it, which is something I really like. Because um, immediately when you get into the store, you see this um, terrain that well, it's showcasing, I think, Stormcast Eternals versus the Night Hunt. Um, which was basically the box that I bought the, the day before. So I was completely mesmerized by how beautiful the terrain is. Um, there were some 40K stuff, especially when it came to terrain and everything that they were showcasing on the, uh, on the dioramas and stuff. Um, of course, they had everything Games Workshop could sell in the Warhammer store because you know if Games Workshop sold everything Games Workshop, Warhammer store would sell everything Warhammer. So 40k, Age of Sigmar, Kill Team, you name it, they got it. Um, com extremely, extremely nice staff. Um, people will just come up and talk to you, ask you like what you know, what, what stuff you're playing, what stuff you're painting. Um, regardless if you don't want to talk to them, they will still talk to you. And amazingly, they actually have all the paint that I needed. So I actually bought most of the paint and stuff. And um, some of the painting tools um, from the store, including um, some of the stuff that I need for my uh, bases. So if ever you are within the city, after you're look, done looking through good games, um, I highly suggest um, going down to Warhammer and you know just 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 blowing your mind honestly this is this this place is amazing And the uh, last place that we're actually going to look into is Hobby Co. Um, they are in the uh, Queen Victoria building. I think it's uh, 455 George Street. You'll actually find it um, when you get out of the uh, Town Hall station. Um, I think you just need to take the uh, Exit 1, Queen Victoria building exit. And then you'd be situated on the building next to it. And then you just have to cross over go up to the third floor. Where... Hobby Co is just sitting there for you to spend your money on. Um, yeah, so if you're really into modeling, um, they have a ton of model kits. Like anything, I'm like, I can't really name all the model kits, but it's uh, uh, they have a ton of Gundam, um, Tamiya model kits, um, tanks, World War II stuff, um, planes. Um, if you're really into trains, you can actually go to the other side of the store. Um, when I say other side of the store, it's, it's a really big store, so. Um, when I say the other side of the store, really, it really is on the other side, which uh, 
you uh, you can actually um, get your train stuff, um, anything for your dioramas, um, people who, if you're really into like collecting trains and all that, this is actually a good place to, to go to. Um, if you're looking to collect planes and like other model kits, there in this place actually has a second floor, and um, you know that's where most of the plane stuff is located. Uh, but I was really more into the hobby. Um, I did buy a couple of old Gundam model kits. Um, I think I bought some Tamiya glue uh, for Warhammer because I'm so used to using that one, and um, some paint brushes um, to. Um, to add to my collection of you know paint brushes for um, Warhammer painting, um, they actually have a lot, a really good variety of like pop culture stuff. Um, there's Funko Pop. Um, they also have Ben Preston figures, um, anime stuff. There, there, there's a lot. Like um, if if I spend hours um, in Minotaur just looking through the stuff, I spend twice as much uh, time here. In Hobby Co, just looking around, just flicking through like all the nooks and crannies to see if there's something that I'm really interested in. These are places where when you go into it, you're not really thinking of anything to buy, but you're gonna end up buying a lot more stuff than you thought that you were um, gonna get. It's that's just the beauty of it. Um, you know, th this this is just heaven, honestly. If if you, ever you guys are in Sydney, uh, in the Sydney Central District or in the Town Hall area. I highly recommend going to Hobbyco, and trust me, give yourself at least two hours or three, maybe. You know, because honestly, it's it's gonna take you a long time just to move on from this place. I actually came there like what, like twice, just to be sure that I didn't miss anything <laughs> that I didn't, um, you know, forget to buy anything from the store. Yeah, so. Yeah, if ever you are in the area, I highly suggest Hobbyco. And so guys, that's it for the shops that I uh, visited in uh, Sydney. So, um, shops, uh, two shops in Bundai Junction and then um, like all the other shops were located in Town Hall, um, which is, you know, within the city, but um, with, with transportation and everything, it's, uh, it's actually a lot easier. Um, if, if you guys are just traveling by foot or by train or by bus, like Sydney's, uh, Sydney's uh, transportation system is really efficient. Um, yeah, so if ever you guys are in Sydney, I highly suggest um, going to those places that I uh, visited. And uh, please, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and I will see you guys next time.